Hey sports fans, Coach Nick here and welcome to B-Ball Breakdown. Are you going crazy yet because the summer has nothing to offer for basketball? Well, let me change all that right here. I want to tell you about three players that caught my eye in the NBA Summer League. Players who should have an immediate impact on the teams they play for. The first is DeMar DeRozan, the second is Matt Bolden, and the third is Jeremy Lin. Let me show you what I got. Here DeRozan will blow by Chase Budinger. Not a big deal, but he gets fouled and still finishes. Watch his athleticism as he drives the baseline, gets fouled, and still almost dunks the ball. He also showed a knack for being in the right spot at the right time. Here a loose ball goes right to him, he finishes with a foul. In the open court, he couldn't be stopped. Here he goes to the basket strong, gets fouled, and still hits the basket off the glass. And in case you were wondering if he could jump well, watch Weems as he throws an alley-oop and he throws it down. The Chicago Bulls are giving Matt Bolden a chance to play point guard for them. Here, he handles the ball strong, is not bothered as much by quick point guards, and sees the floor very well and initiates the offense. Bolden complements his teammates very well by getting the ball started and then floating to the open spot on the floor where he showed a deadly outside shot. I'm talking about the kind of guy you simply could not leave open. On the defensive end, he wasn't completely outmatched by really quick point guards. He was intelligent and tough and filled in the gaps anywhere he needed to with exceptional hustle and footwork. Have you had a chance to work on footwork uh, a lot? Uh, I mean, there's so many different pivots that I worked on this this mini camp that uh, you know you don't really realize how important it is. Um, I mean, guys like Paul Pierce. I mean, they, they don't even have to do moves. Their footwork is so nice that they just do certain pivots, you know, certain steps, and they're by people. And whether it's coming off a ball screen or you know driving. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's really important. I, uh, I had no idea. Are there any drills that you do that uh, enable you to see the floor uh, as well as you do? No, not really. Um, <laughs> Something you just you just have kind of you don't. I mean, I think you can develop it a little bit better, but uh, you know, it's always been one of my biggest strengths is being able to see the floor. One of Lynn's biggest problems will be handling the pressure in a half court setting. Here, the ball gets knocked away. He has a hard time getting around anybody to the spot he wants to get to. Here's my biggest issue with him. It's his jump shot. Look where he launches this thing. His elbow sticking out. It's to the side of his head. That's not going to cut it in the NBA, in my opinion. When he's not being pressured, he sees the floor well and is able to initiate the offense. Here he'll drive and make the right decision for a nice jump shot. While not ultra quick, he was able to get to the basket and then make the right decision just about every time. He's also very smart and can read the defense. Here they shadow him toward the screen so he quickly goes toward the baseline, uses his body and gets a foul. His intelligence will have to help him on defense to get to the right position so that he won't be so overmatched by a lot of the point guards in the league. So DeMar DeRozan looks like he could be a breakout star. He had a modest season last year in his first year and it looks like he'll have a big opportunity with Chris Bosh leaving Toronto to do some serious damage. Matt Bolden is struggling to get signed by a team and it really doesn't make any sense. This guy should be on a team, he should be on a team now and he should get a real legitimate shot of playing because he can pass, he can shoot the lights out, he can rebound a little bit, he certainly can play defense and he's got a great court vision. And lastly, Jeremy Lin is signed with the Warriors going home to play where he's from and he should do perfect there because they go up and down so much he won't be stuck in the half court under a lot of pressure having to dribble the ball a lot. And if he can work on his shot, he'll be a pretty legitimate player, I think. But it might take him a year or two to really adjust to the kind of physical nature of the NBA. Well, there you have it, folks. Thanks for tuning in to B-Ball Breakdown. And stay tuned for a lot, lot, lot more from what we have in our vaults from the NBA Summer League. And don't forget, it's not a channel. It's a conversation.